Phil Brock is chair of our Recreation and Parks Commission and the 2013 California Commissioner of the Year. Hello and welcome to Meet the Candidates. I'm Sandy Jacobson and joining me today is Phil Brock. Thanks, Phil. Hi, good afternoon. Let's start with the question about development. If elected, how would you decide which development agreements to support? Which would be your criteria? Well, when I'm a city council person, I will want to ban development agreements. I think they're a mistake for Santa Monica. They lead to backroom and side room deals. They lead to special interests, getting special favors from the developers and from our city council. Let's end that. Let's have height limits that matter in Santa Monica. So we can do that through a vote of the people in 2016. I support, and I'm in writing, supporting a four-story height limit in our downtown, a three-story height limit on our boulevards, a two-story height limit in our residential areas. Those are height limits that we can live with that will retain the authenticity and retain the flavor of the city we live in and the city we love. Let's do that. Let's get rid of development agreements. Let's talk now about the Expo Line. Many people in Santa Monica are pretty excited about that. But there are those who are concerned about the problem of uh, the paucity of parking spaces, the lack of parking spaces. Uh, and that the, if the residents don't have enough parking spaces, then the only people using it will be those people who are either commuters or uh, visitors to the city. As a city council member, how would you address, address that problem? Well, we've already made, I think, uh, uh, three mistakes in the Expo line. So I love the fact that we have the Expo line coming. My mother used to ride it from the pier uh, to the Palladium to go dancing on a Saturday night, the old red line. Um, the problem we're having is at the Memorial Park Station, we've put no parking in. At the Bergamont Station, we've put no parking in. Those are mistakes. Having the light rail at street level on Colorado is a mistake. That's going to lead to congestion 14 times an hour on our streets the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. So we need parking or, at this point, we need great public transportation and our big blue bus line isn't okay. saying they can do that. So the way to solve that right now is if add a dash line to our city that will give us great circulatory um, transportation throughout our neighborhoods and the, make that free. The dash line's the little bus, right? Yes. Okay. Let's make that free, especially the first two or three years that the Expo line's going, because I want our residents to buy in to the use of the Expo line. Secondly, there is still a way to build a parking structure at the Bergamont Station. We need a thousand car parking space to make sure our residents use the Expo line, because it certainly isn't just for people to get here on weekends to go to the beach. It needs to be for our residents to move around Los Angeles. How do you envision the relationship between the city and the school district in, in the future? What would you like to see change? What would you like to see remain the same? Well, I'm pleased that our city has provided such great support to the school district that I grew up in. I went to Madison, I went to Lincoln, I went to Samo High, I went to SMC. So I'm a product of our public schools. So I love the fact that we're giving support to our public schools that other cities aren't in California. That's a tragedy, by the way. We, are, we rank somewhere around Louisiana in public school funding, and that's a horrible thing. So I want us to continue to give support. I want us to use more joint use agreements um, and I would like our public schools to rival our private schools in Santa Monica. You know, I'm always distressed, very distressed, that, that our s children go off to, you can name the private schools in Santa Monica that they go to. I want our parents to have so much confidence in our public school district that they all attend our public schools. And I want to make sure that our public school facilities are used by our residents at night. So I want the Greek theater open to the public for summer concerts. I want Barnum Hall to become our city's classical music venue. I want Lincoln Middle School Field to be artificially turfed and the lights 
turned on at Lincoln so the kids on the north side have a place to play. Thank you so much, Phil. Many thanks for joining us today on Meet Your City Council Candidates. There's plenty more Vote 2014 information on smvote.org. And remember, get out and vote on November 4th.